Hello guys and welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna talk about five common scams that can happen when you're traveling overseas and how to actually avoid them. Number one is the money exchange scam. So you arrived in the country, now you need to exchange your currency into the local currency. Let's say for example, you got 1,000 Australian dollars, $50 each, you got 20 notes. You walk into the money exchange, you count 20 notes, and you hand it over to the person, the person starts counting. The moment you're distracted, the person gonna slip one note and drop it on the ground, and boom, it's gone, it's magic. And the person gonna say, well, it's only 19 notes, and you're gonna start counting one, two, three, Oh, sure, it's 19. Guess what, it's done. Well, you can't argue, even if you, you know, fully sold on the point the person actually dropped the note, how are you gonna prove it? But let's say, for example, you're pretty alert, you're pretty switched on. You hand it over to the person, and the person start counting, while you dead stare looking at him as he counts. Now he's gonna pull a big, huge stash of notes. So if you go to Bali with a thousand dollars, the biggest note they have is a hundred thousand. You're gonna get hundred notes of that. Or if they give you fifty thousand each, well, you're gonna get two hundred notes. That's a lot of notes to count, right? So the person gonna start counting, he's gonna hand it over to you as they count, and it's it's a lot happening, right? And you can't keep up with it. So what he's gonna try to do is he's gonna try to give you. Uh, you know, dodgy or you know, discontinued or counterfeit or damaged notes. If a couple of notes look different to the most of the notes, you tell the person, I need exactly the same. How do you avoid it? You go to a bank or go to a legitimate shop or go to the ATM. Yes, they're gonna charge you a little fee. However, I'm happy to lose a dollar or two than $50. It's, it's simple mathematics. For me, uh, a well-lit shop, more cameras, staff professional, and that's the way you know that the currency you have, it's all legit. The next one is the taxi. It's pretty common and you know what? You're gonna use taxis to get around. What you do is you find a cab, so you ask one person, you go to another place, and then that way, a day or two, you're gonna get your head around to find out the price. It's a too much of a hassle. Easy way to avoid that is use the apps. They're like Uber. So they use Bolt or Grab, pretty common in Asia. That way you know that it's a fixed price. Sometimes they're trying to trick you. They say, oh, we're getting out of the airport so you have to pay the ticket. No, you don't. It's included in the price. Well, next one is a bike hire or the jet ski hire or anything you hire from the country. You are on the mercy of these people because if you return the vehicle or whatever you hire back to these people and they didn't say, oh, that's damaged or that wasn't there before, buy yourself a beer and celebrate because it's a win already. Most cases, they will say, this is new damage, this is a scratch, and you know what? You can't prove it unless you take the photos before you actually take the item from them, you make a video, and if there are any damages, any small scratches, put it on the video, tell the staff, hey, look at this damage, and make sure you record the person confirming that damage, even better if they can write it down on the receipt. The next one is the famous Tinder or any similar app scam. Well, the boys are pumped and you're looking for action. So what do you do? You download Tinder. You match with someone, it starts with normal chat, then you can do flirting, and then into even more kinky stuff. The person is attractive and they say, well, how about you give me your social media? You add them onto the social media. So you're not really thinking straight. So you talk to this person and they say, can you send me your intimate photos? You send them a photo and guess what? Next text is gonna be a screenshot of your friend list. Remember adding them onto the social media and saying, give us X amount of money or we're gonna share your intimate photos to all these people. How embarrassing is that? So the lesson is never, ever, ever add them to your social media. Do not send nudes to anyone ever. When you're out in a different country, all you need is a, a place to catch up. Don't go to someone's hotel or don't even invite them to your hotel room. You don't know who this person is, right? Even if it's a legit girl, they can make any false allegations and more than likely the local police always gonna be on their side. And if you get done with a girl in your hotel or their hotel, well, prostitution is illegal in a lot of countries and you are facing a hell of a different drama there, my friend, so don't ever do that. There are legit girls out there. There are nice girls out there. All they need is you to say, let's go to XYZ bar. It's a public bar. You both meet there and then you talk and you go from there. The last, and it can happen a lot, you go to a bar or restaurant or anywhere, you order a drink, you take a sip, it doesn't taste the same. Well, because it's been substituted by the local drink. For example, if you go to Bali, they've got Iraq. 
If you go to Vietnam, they go to wine. A lot of countries have the local distilled alcohol, which is a lot cheaper because it's not regulated, there's not taxes, so the profit margins are huge. It tastes different, but if you pissed and you're too drunk, you're probably not gonna you know, taste the difference. But let's say if you do, stop drinking, only drink what's been opened in front of you or stick with beers. If you really wanna try the local alcohol, go to a bottle shop and buy yourself. Uh, the reason you shouldn't be drinking the homegrown because of the ethanol. Google it and it will scare you like big time. Thank you for watching this video all the way to the end and I wish you a really, really good holidays. Come back with good memories and if you do make mistakes, please learn from them and share with others. Happy travel and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.